Okay, problem 712. We have Tarzan and Jane. Uh, Tarzan in one tree uh, cites Jane in another tree. Uh, he grabs the end of a vine with length 20 meters and makes that makes an angle of 45 with the vertical. Steps off his tree limb and swings down and then jumps and then up into Jane's open arms. Okay, so swings down, hits the bottom, and doesn't hit the bottom, but uh, gracefully grazes toes, grazes his toes along the bottom, then hits Jane when he comes back up. Uh, and then we are supposed to determine whether he gives her a tender embrace or knocks her off her limb by calculating Tarzan's speed. So if his speed is slow, he'll land uh, right there slowly to be able to give her a tender embrace. Or if he is going pretty quickly, he'll knock her off the limb. Okay, so we're going to ignore air resistance and the mass of the vine. So essentially what we need to do is we need to... Uh, I'm going to use the conservation of energy to solve this. Seems, seems, this seems pretty straightforward using conservation of energy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find uh, what the potential energy of uh, Tarzan is. And I'm going to cal calculate uh, basically uh, what speed he reaches when he reaches the end uh, right there at this height. So I'm going to write that as y j. So we start off with uh, him traveling. We has a potential energy uh, using the height of y Tarzan, and he goes down until he reaches the height of, with y Jane. Okay, so let's write our conservation energy problem. We have k1 plus u1 equal to k2 plus u2. So the, this initial kinetic energy we know is zero. But what is uh, everything else? So uh, I'm going to write down what they are. We may need to find some expressions for what they are. But here we have uh, mass of Tarzan uh, times g uh, times his initial height, so y Tarzan. And that's going to be equal to his, his kinetic energy, so that's 1 half m uh, v squared. Again, v, the velocity, is what we're going to be solving for at the end, uh, plus his uh, final potential energy. So that's going to be m g y uh, jane. Okay, so we need to figure out uh, how to express y Tarzan and y Jane. Those are the only things we don't know here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make some triangles. So here we have a triangle uh, formed there by this hypotenuse of 20 meters and this angle. And then we have a triangle here formed by, again, the same length. So that's going to be 20 meters. But the angle here has changed to be 30 degrees. And I'm going to uh, calculate what these lengths are here, this length and this length, so that we can use the total length, the 20 meters, minus that length to get what the actual heights are. OK, so based on our knowledge of trigonometry, when we have the hypotenuse and angle, the adjacent length is going to be found using the cosine. So that's going to be uh, cosine of 40, uh, 20, uh, cosine of 45 degrees is going to be that green length there. And this green length uh, we know is going to be 20 times the cosine of 30 degrees. Okay, so then to find what the height of Tarzan and Jane are, we can just uh, take a subtraction of the full 20 meters. So that full 20 meters here uh, minus these individual lengths. So we have y Tarzan equal to 20 meters minus this length here. So 20 meters cosine of 45 
degrees. And similar thing for yj. That's equal to 20 meters minus 20 meters cosine of 30 degrees. And I'm going to write down what those numbers are so we don't have to repeat that entire expression over again. It's going to be 5.86 meters. And what we have here is 2.68 meters. Okay, so now what we can do is we can substitute the values we have into our expression once we simplify them a little bit. Okay, so first I'm going to uh, simplify all this by noticing that each term has a mass term in it, so we can get rid of those individual mass terms. Uh, then what we're left with is uh, G y tarzan equal to one half v squared plus g uh, y jane okay so now we can solve for v a uh, simple way to do that is i'm going to write g uh, y tarzan minus y jane equal to one half uh, velocity squared. Okay, then just solving for velocity uh, again, uh, we're just going to take the, uh, and move this over here. We're gonna take V is equal to the square root of two G Y Tarzan minus Y Jane. Okay. So from here, it's just numbers. So we have two times G times the difference here. So then that's gonna give us the square root of a number and then we're going to take the square root and we're going to find that 7.9 meters. 7.9 meters per second. Okay. Okay, so 7.9 meters per second. So the question is, is that a tender embrace or does that knock her off the limb? Uh, so I'm going to use a little bit of my experience and intuition. I'm going to say 7.9 meters per second. Uh, I'm going to compare that to what the world record 100 meter pace is. So 100 meter pace, that's done in around uh, 10 meters per second for those uh, world-class sprinters because it's done in 10 seconds. I know that from memory. Uh, so 10 meters per second, let's compare 7.9 to that. So just a tad slower than uh, Usain Bolt uh, running at a world record 100 meter pace. So I'm going to say that he knocks her off the limb. So I'm going to circle that one. Okay, so that's this problem.